Let's start today's topic by making a list of things that you have seen recently like houses, birds, table, dog, car, butterfly, school bag, fan, tree, clock, baby, stone. You'll find that there is a difference in these objects in terms of their movement. For example, a bird or butterfly can move from one place to another place while a chair or table are at the same place so we can divide all these objects into two categories objects in motion and objects at rest an object is said to be moving if there is a change in its position with changing time for example walking or driving a car if an object is fixed at a particular position and there is no change in its place with respect to time then it is said to be at rest for example chair table walls are at rest when we roll a ball it moves from point a to point b but in case of a sewing machine electric fan or a clock the whole body doesn't move from one place to another place but only a part of the body moves the motion is broadly divided into four types linear motion circular motion rotational motion and periodic motion linear motion when an object move from one point to another point either in a straight line or a curved path that motion is called linear motion depending on the path of motion linear motion is further subdivided into two categories rectilinear motion and curvilinear motion when an object moves in a straight line and changes its position along with time that motion is called rectilinear motion moving of vehicles in a straight road march past of soldiers in a parade use of elevator in public places dropping of coins are example of rectilinear motion when any object moves in a curved path with respect to time it is called curvilinear motion motion of bikes on a curved race track motion of a snake motion of a basketball into the basket roller coaster ride are few examples of curvilinear motion take a stone or a small piece of cardboard tie a thread to it and whirl it with your hand observe the motion of the stone you will see that the stone moves along a circular path in this motion the distance of the stone from your hand remains the same this type of motion is called circular motion motion of giant wheel merry go round hands of a clock blades of a ceiling fan rotating around the hub are example of circulatory motion in case of a ceiling fan the blades shows circulatory motion but if we see is at a unit as an whole object the fan rotates on its own fixed axis when an object moves around an axis passing through its center this type of motion is called rotational motion rotation of earth on its axis motion of gramophone record motion of spinning wheel spinner motion of helicopter blades a few examples of rotational motion in some cases an object repeats its motion after some time this type of motion is called periodic motion the back and forth movement of pendulum child on a swing strings of guitar and membrane of drum when played are few examples of periodic motion sometimes motion of an object may be a combination of two or more motions for example when we roll a ball on the ground here the ball is rotating on its axis and moving on a straight line so the ball undergoes rectilinear motion and rotational motion In case of sewing machine the needle moves up and down continuously and undergoes periodic motion. 
while at the same time its wheel moves in circular motion